Hey guys, we're going to be looking at uh, angles at a point in this session, so let's get started. Now, if you've been um, watching this series, you know that angle A plus B is 180 degrees because it's angles on a straight line. So using that, I'm going to actually prove to you guys what angles at a point is going to equal. So, say we, we've got this, this line here with angle A and B. What I want to do right now is I want to flip it upside down and kind of just... Um, reflected um, on the horizontal line. So this is what it's going to look like. So that's what it looks like right now. And what I will do is I'll put a point there, the green point right there. So what I want to show you guys is that the angles around this point or at a point is going to equal 360 because the top line is 180 and then we've got the bottom which is 180. And if we add them together we're going to get 360 degrees. So the short form of writing this is we write angles at a point. So once again guys just remember that angles at a point is going to equal 360 degrees. Okay let's have a look at a couple of examples. Actually just before doing that example just want to show you guys this again. So when we have like kind of like these three lines intersecting at a point Let's say we've got an angle A, angle B, angle C. What it basically means is angle A plus angle B plus C is equal to 360 degrees. And of course, don't forget your reason, which is angles at a point. Okay, now let's have a look at a couple of these examples. So as you can see here, guys, in the first example, we've got three angles, X, 130, and 170. So what do we know is that angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So angle X plus 170 plus 130 should equal 360 degrees. So we have X plus 300 equals 360 degrees. So we want to take away 300 from 360 and what we end up with X is equal to 60 degrees. And as, us as usual guys, don't forget you've got to write your reason which is angles at a point. Okay, let's have a look at two more examples, then we'll finish off. Alright, so here's our next example. We've got X, we've got the little square thing again, and we've got 110 degrees. Now for those of you who should know by now that that little square means it's a right angle, which means you're looking at 90 degrees. So, in this case, we're still looking at angles at a point. So we've got X plus 110 degrees, plus the right angle, which is 90 degrees, and all that is equal to 360 degrees. Simplifying this, we get x plus 200 equals 360 degrees. And rearranging it, we have x is equal to 360, take away 200, which means x is equal to 160 degrees. And as usual, don't forget your reasoning, which is angles at a point. Now, we've actually worked with numbers. Uh, you know, I love, love doing a little bit of algebra here and there, so I'm going to throw in um, one more example, is something like this. We have once again three angles, we've got X, X and 4X. Now as usual guys, you can see that all these three lines are meeting at a point, which means angles at a point is going to add up to 360 degrees. So we've got X plus that second X plus 4X and all of them equals 360 degrees. So x plus x plus 4x is going to be 6x. 6x is equal to 360 degrees. Now, dividing 6 by, on both sides, we're going to have x is equal to 360 divided by 6, which means x is equal to 60 degrees. And as usual, folks, don't forget your reasoning, which is angles at a point. Now, guys, as I said before in my couple of previous videos, is that you know, you don't need to actually show all this kind of algebraic working out. If you know the answers, you can just write the answers, but don't forget to write the reasons also. Okay? But as I said before, it's just if you can do it like this, it'll just help help your algebra skills as well. Alright, that's it for this session. Thank you for watching.